Hi everybody, Father Leroy Shirel, and welcome to still another episode of my Cabin Fever Faith. Yeah, I'm in an undisclosed location enjoying these beautiful fall colors and uh, yeah, I've got my famous selfie stick that I picked up, uh, you know, nature made, all natural organic selfie stick. So there you go. I thought people would want to see that again because I tend to tend to use those things. Anyway, yeah, I'm here enjoying these beautiful fall colors. I tell you what, uh, no one can paint like God, huh? Take a look at this beautiful leaf um, and um, how God is really kind of, you know, all the intricacies and all the beautiful colors that, that they come about. I'm, I'm walking on, on long, of all places, a railroad track, right? Maybe you can see that. Look at that. And you know, you know, when you come to, you know, when I talk about painting, God, God is, the, is the greatest painter and every artist, all they can do is imitate what God has already done. But, you know, when it comes to painting, if you look at this railroad track here, take a look at this. There's what we call a vanishing point. You watch these tracks and one of the things you learn about art is, is that everything has to come to a vanishing point. And, and that's how you gain perspective on how... Um, how the picture should look and, and see depth and and things like that. So, um, yeah, vanishing points. These tracks are, you know, you can see the vanishing point way out there beyond those beautiful colors. And um, it's a real, it's kind of a neat uh, way of looking at our own life, right? Every life has a trail, a path, and a vanishing point at the end of our end of our lives. You know, one of the things that I think is uh, remarkable about fall and the colors is, is I like to look at these, the fall colors is, as a beautiful sign from God. You know, everything in our life has sign value, okay? And what that means is anything you can look like, any encounter, it's a sign of other things, things beyond that. And in that sense, creation itself is sacramental, something that's sacramental or blessed or whether it's metals or pictures or images, always draws us beyond the picture itself into holy things. And I think nature itself is very much like that. And I think standing on this track is, is, is a sacramental experience in, in so many ways. So let's, let's talk about that a little bit. You know, um, yeah, we're on a journey, just like these railroad tracks. And, and, and on that journey, eventually, we're all gonna die and go into the next world. But you know, one of the things I always look at when I look at fall colors, and I'll just give you another little perspective on just where I came from, is this, that um, that just before a leaf falls and dies to the earth, it turns this beautiful array of colors. And I think that's a wonderful sign of the resurrection to come. You know, just before we die, if we have faith and if we allow it, that can be our greatest moments, at least in the eyes of God. Um, and then, and it's a foreshadowing of things to come, this beautiful the uh, heaven itself. You know, in 1 Corinthians um, chapter 2, Paul says, Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor is it so much as dawned on man what God has prepared for those who love him. And what that means is we can't imagine the glory that God has for us if we live a good life, if we, if we stay on track, right, and follow, follow the Lord. And um, this is just a sign of, of great things to come. And I always see fall as, as that time of year that, that kind of gives us, gives me at least that sign of, of the resurrection. And um, just like the story of a leaf, right? The life of a leaf. Just before it dies, it turns this beautiful color and then it falls to the earth, right? A foreshadowing of things to come. So, you know, if you get a chance, get out there, enjoy these beautiful fall colors. Um, yeah, I'm standing right beside a tree here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And and think about the resurrection and the life of the world to come that Paul talks about and what our faith is really about too and, and how God can, can really speak to us and 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 our best days are, are, are ahead of us. We believe that. That's what our faith tells us. And so uh, embrace that and and see in the world around you all the blessings that you have and and, and have received and and blessings to come so i'm just going to walk a little bit longer here and, and uh, enjoy this beautiful scenery on this tracks 
right? Very symbolic of our lives. And, and um, yeah, I um, hope you get out and do it. Get out here and enjoy these colors. For some reason this year, I think the colors are better than they've ever been in, in, in so long. So uh, this is Father Leroy Shirel signing off on Cabin Fever Faith. Um, this was this one I'm entitling, um, yeah, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it so much as dawned on man what God has prepared for those who love him. God loves you. Don't forget that. Embrace it. And remember that the Lord is watching out for all of us. Father Leroy Shirel signing off until we meet again. God bless and pay attention to that vanishing point. Every artist looks at a vanishing point. From there, they gain perspective. Let's look at the tracks in our life and, and, and where God is calling us and, and gain that perspective too and, and see the Lord in so many ways. Take care. God bless. Let's keep praying for each other as we enjoy this wonderful time of year.